so today I have a mascara review and slash showing you all my mascaras and so here they are. Um, these are just all the ones that are still full. I mean I have more that are just like not full anymore that I still have because for some reason I like to like not really collect but like I like to keep my mascaras because I don't know I like mascaras. <laughs> So I'm going to get started and I'm just going to show you each one that I have and then I'm going to give like a little review on each and every one of them and tell you which one is my favorite, that kind of thing. So let's just get ready and get started. Alright, so I'm going to start off with like my drugstore brands that I have right here, right now. Um, I have this, the Max Volume Lash Mascara by Rimmel London like that and um, this one has to be one of my favorite out of my two drugstore brands that I have. The brush looks like this and this mascara um, it does really good with like volumizing your eyelashes like it makes them look a lot thicker. Um, I think the only problem with this one is it doesn't make them look as long but it definitely does give them like that thick luscious great look and then for the next one I have my covergirl lash bat lash blast fusion covergirl lash blast well I can't tell which way that is but this one it is good for like layering on your other mascaras like this one it makes your eyelashes look like longer when and a little bit thicker whenever you put it on after you do a mascara so, I mean, for, like, the first time around, um, this stuff does not do that good. I mean, it's definitely not one of my favorites. But the thing is really cute. It's purple. And the brush looks like this. It's, like, a little bit littler. And then the bristles are, like, a lot closer. And how like that. So, this is really nice, too. And, um, by the way, all of these mascaras are like black. I don't have any colored mascaras right now. I used to have like this blue one whenever I was in middle school and I used to like love it for some reason. And it was so weird. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, for the next one, this is actually another drugstore brand. Um, this one has to be my all-time favorite drugstore brand one right now. It is the um, L'Oreal Paris Double Extend. And this one it has the white stuff that like lengthens your eyelashes on this side and then on the side it has like just the actual mascara and the brush looks like this so yeah this one well right now this one is my favorite Doug's Band. Um, the pink one it has to be like my second one that I have like my secret favorite so it just looks like that um, this definitely is I definitely recommend this one this one is a little more expensive on the drugstore brand like kind but it's worth it. <laughs> and then I'm going to start off with my Sephora ones. The ones I guess from Sephora. This one is a Too Faced Lash Injection. Um, I really haven't used this one in forever, but I remember when I used to use this. It is definitely a good mascara. I believe it's a little bit bigger, like the brushes. Yeah. It's a little bit bigger brush. It just looks like that. Um, it seems like there's a lot more bristles on this one, so it definitely catches like more eyelashes and stuff, and it does keep your eyelashes looking really long. And a double, like double coats of this does make your eyelashes look pretty thick, so that's definitely a plus, and yeah, recommend this one. And then next I have my Tarte, or Tarte, hey, however you like say that. This used to be my favorite, I'm not gonna lie, but um... I like this one if you're doubling up on it. Like, if you do just, like, one coat, it's not really, like, I don't know. I like my eyelashes looking kind of, like, fake. So, this doesn't really do that. Um, it's, like, the natural kind of mascara version. So, this, basically, it makes your eyelashes, like, curl, like, instantly. Like, whenever you put it on, it curls them a little bit. And the wand on this one's, like, a little weird. It's, like, I don't know, kind of curvy. It's kind of cute <laughs> for a mascara. But, yep, this one, basically, if you want to, like, double up on mascaras, like, do a couple, like, layers, this is a pretty good one. Um, 
not my favorite, but that's all right. And then I have this one, which my grandma bought this, and she didn't really like it because, I don't know, but she gave it to me because she didn't like it. But I really like this one. This is actually one of my favorites also. Um, with this one, it's like extendable, so you can like make it big like that, or you can like shrink it. When it's big, I believe when it's big, it makes your eyelashes like look longer, and then when it's like little like that, it makes them um, like more thick. And it really does do what it says, so it's definitely a good one. And the twist cap is like right there. You can see that. I don't know, I can't see it, but yeah, that one is definitely a must. I, I have to start getting that one more often now because I definitely like that. And then my last one for Sephora, which is almost out now, but this one is incredible, incredible, incredible. It's the They're Real by Benefit. And this one really works great. Um, whenever I didn't buy it, I'd always go to the store just to try it on because I loved it so much. <laughs> like, I didn't have enough money, and then I'd just try it on because it was adorable. Makes your eyelashes look great. And so that's what it looks like. And the top, there's like little bristles as well. And with that, um, you put that on like your eyelashes and make them longer. So this is definitely a good one, and I recommend this one. And then for my last one, um, it is from MAC, and it's the MAC Zoom Lash Mascara. And this one, love, 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 love. This is like the blackest black mascara I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> um, makes them look long. It's really great. Um, yeah, it just says that right there. It's not zooming in. It's not focusing for some reason. I don't know, but yeah. And the brush just looks like this. And this is definitely a great mascara. I remember this one is like $15, I think. So it's not too bad, really. And definitely recommend that one. And that is all for my mascara review. I do have more mascaras, so if you guys would like me to do some more, um, they're not full, so I can still like show you what they look like if you guys would like that. Um, I have more drugstore brands, so if you guys would like that, just comment in the drop box below. And thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a great, great, great day. Bye.